you, you talked about Joe Hill, a guy who's used to coming off the bench and giving you guys some energy. He's playing for the whole game. Um, he Every single shot he took was from three. How, how do you feel he responded to playing uh, as a starter today? And what did he give you? Um, he, he gave us everything that he had. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to learn when those shots aren't going, you know, somehow, some way. If, if the shots aren't going and we don't have the, the opportunity to throw the ball into the World Cups, which those are the two things that that, that we were facing today. Um, we, we've got to be able to drive the ball better. Now, that's not something that we're particularly good at. Um, Matt Wilson was was the guy today. I mean, he, you know, he put it on the floor, and he, he's not a jump shooter, but uh, he came in and he, he was not hesitant at all to try to take the ball to the basket. You know, that you, you'd like to think, you know, we we learned that again, you know, we can't throw, we can't take the ball to the basket by throwing it inside. And the three-point shots aren't working. You know, we've, we've got to drive it, and, and us driving, you know, we're, we're straight-line drivers. Or, or, if, if we drive the ball effectively, that's how we would have to do it. Um, you get the ball to a spot as deep as you can and, and, and try to attack the defense and, and kind of then see what, what happens. We, I mean, we we didn't do that. Coach, how do you feel about your guys' defensive effort? Because obviously with a team that has three to four guys who can really put up 10 plus every night, how did you guys feel that uh, you kind of dealt with that with so many players that you couldn't really help with one and ignore the other? You know, I, I thought our guys played really hard. Uh, again, the, the effort was there. I, there, were, there were too many breakdowns. I think in the first half, McCollum had three offensive rebounds. Yeah. Right? You know, if, if, if we're in, in what we call no help in, in that situation against their leading scorer, uh, that should never happen. But, but yet it did. Um, we missed an opportunity to get a, uh, a personal foul on, uh, I think it was Knudsen in the first half, uh, if, if, if we had stepped in and taken the charge. Uh, you know, there, there, there were a couple things here and here and there um, that, that we would have liked to have, have done better. Um, you know, they hit big shots anyway. Paul's two threes uh, towards the latter parts of the, of the second half. You know, we were kind of hanging in there, uh, but but he, you know, he answered with with big shots at, at crucial times. Um, Coach Danny's taken some huge strides recently, um, especially in the play today. Seven points, um, five assists, plus four, four turnovers. How do you feel about his progression? Um, I, you know, I think in, in some ways maybe it mirrors our, our progression as a team. I mean, he's, he's moving forward. There's still certainly you know plenty that uh, he has to learn and plenty of things that, that he needs to improve on. But, but he is making progress. Um, you know, getting that experience and playing against a, a player the caliber of, of Marquis Hall um, is uh, that'll pay dividends. It, it's not fun. You know, for for him right now, um, but that'll pay dividends down down the road uh, facing that that kind of competition and, and hopefully learning and, and growing from that. Coach, you, know, you guys have won 20 straight Patriot League games here at Bender, and, and to lose it tonight, it's obviously going to be disappointing. Whenever that streak comes to an end, but but how how fun was that streak to go back almost two years and um, and and is this team um, poised to make another run like that? Do you think? Well, I mean, we can we can hope so. Um, you know, any, any time a streak like that happens, um, you, you can't focus on the streak. You've got to focus on on the next game, and, and I think that's uh, that's been the important thing for for us is is, is being ready to bounce back from a loss, or uh, you know, not sit around patting ourselves on the back after a victory. But uh, whatever the result is in, in one game. You know, being ready to, to go back out the, the next time and, and try to focus and give our best effort. So I think in those 21 games, you know, that that's what you saw. You you, you saw a consistent effort, and uh, you know, guys, you know, you you want to win at home for for a lot of reasons. You you want to win at home, you know, to uh, I don't know re reward uh, you know the, the fans. I mean, you know, for coming out. And I know it wasn't a big crowd today, but heck, you know. Uh, it was a pretty good turnout considering there's 30 inches of snow out there. So, you know, the, the players know that. They want to play well for the, for the fans and, and the students. Um, you know, and it, 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 it can be a sense of pride. And, you know, everybody wants to hold serve at, at home. Um, you know, but uh, obviously that, that, that didn't happen today. So we've, we've got to regroup from that. And we've got another big game coming up on, on Thursday against Bucknell, another team that, uh, that, that beat us the first time around. And, uh, uh, you know,
you know, we, we have to be a little bit better.